Well, <clears throat> hey everybody, it's Wednesday, and when it's Wednesday, it's time for Instant Noodle Recipe Time. The show where I show you what to do with instant noodles. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday, when it will also be time for Instant Noodle Recipe Time. I don't know what day it is for you, but for me it's Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. Uh, and we're doing this today. Kimchi. Yes. So let's I begin. So we take this off the top. They come with nice little coasters. I, I thought that was snazzy. Take off the lid. Basically, you just take this noodle package, slice her open, which is what I'm doing, drop it on in. Attempt to drop it on in. It's still early. It's only 7.36 in the a.m. Here in beautiful downtown Kenmore, Washington, where courtesy is contagious like the flu. I just love that town model motto. Kenmore, Washington, where courtesy is contagious. Oh my god. This is a block of kimchi. It's freeze dried, so once it's introduced to <clears throat> hot water, it just goes and you got a ton of kimchi. Soup base sachet. Soup base apuru. So they're calling it stock powder. <coughs> It's full of uh, something called katsubushi. Katsubushi is smoked fish, so that's that's why I was like, whoa! I just got like smoked fish up my nose. Then we fill it to the line. Here, we'll we'll show you this. Watch and line. Let's see, can you see it? You can see it. Probably by the time it gets up to the line, it'll almost all be completely. Done up, but see, here's our kimchi block. It just sucks it up right to the magical line, right there, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna throw it in the old macro wave for two minutes at a thousand watts. <clears throat> I figure 80% is a thousand watts. 80% is a thousand watts. There we go. And don't worry, here I am again. Hello. So, yeah, this came from a place called S Smart. So did the last one I reviewed. S Smart is kind of like a mainly Korean grocery over in Bellevue, Washington, and um, went there on last Saturday and got like 32 varieties between their Asian family market in Redmond and this big huge Indian grocery in Redmond, so pretty happy about that. And there's more noodles coming. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Titans Global Incorporated. I asked them about how to prepare one of the products I found. They're a distributor of all sorts of neat stuff down in California and Walnut. 
And uh, yeah, I think they're gonna send me some samples. So that's rad because then I'll have more stuff to review. It's like perfect timing. Plus a shout out to, I think they're called Magazine F. And it's a special food magazine and they pick one food thing to do every, I think it's monthly, might be quarterly. But uh, they picked ramen for the next issue, and they were kind enough to contact me and ask me if I'd be up for an interview, which I was like, sure. So, yeah, there'll be that coming up soon. So, it's good. Things is good. Good stuff. So, yeah. I hope it's not exploding. I don't think it is. a lot of raw power in that microwave, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, let's see what we got. smells very strong of fish. I'm getting mostly just the katsubushi. And let's see. These noodles are almost a contiguous block. It mentions some crap about like heating the noodles before you... It's like, why would... I don't know. Basically, do all this stuff and then conveniently cook it. Like, nobody's doing that, buddy. So I'm left to basically just sit here and stir a little bit. I don't know either, Miles. I just don't know. But today is Wednesday. So Miles has a half, uh, not a half day but less than a whole day. And Mimi has no school. So it's kind of crummy out, so I'll have to figure out something for us to do. I think we might walk down to the store. I am out of spring onion, which is a bad, 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 bad. Something I need. That is like spring onions and mung bean sprouts. Always gotta have those two things on hand even if I don't use them because there'll be times when I like hunt around find decent date on uh, mung bean sprouts I don't even use any of them and they expire but that's not too common I don't like to waste mung bean sprouts and having a fresh bag on hand kind of gets me more like oh I don't really feel like reviewing but I've got to uh, use those mung bean sprouts so the amount of veg in this is really, really nice. Here we go. Everything's kind of doing its thing now. So let's give this a try. Kimchi guksu. Our broth. Okay. So, what I just did reminded me of something I saw yesterday. So I'm out walking, right? And this lady passes by me and she's having like a very animated conversation with whoever she's walking with, right? Some guy. And she basically took her hands up and went. It's like she erased a whiteboard that was in her mind. That being said, it's just like she had to erase, you know, what she was talking about before 
and expound upon how what she was talking about before. It was really, it was really interesting. I like stuff like that. You're not? You're not going home? You are home, I know. So you're not going home. You're already home. How can you go home if you're home already? I'm sure you can find a way. Kimchi, huh? Hmm. Large beef. And we got red pepper. And we've got spring onion. I think that's what we got to got to go on for this. Whoa, that was crazy. Happy times, right here. For you. Whoa. I think it suffices to say that if you enjoy kimchi and Korean food, you probably like this one quite a bit. So yeah, you can check that out. If you like uh, beef, you might like this. Yeah. Wait, haven't haven't you reviewed that before, Ramen Raider? Yes, it was review 600. It was wearing completely different packaging and a different recipe. That was back in, what is it, December 11th, 2011, and it's May 25th, 2022, so, getting a new review, all new, all for you. This has been Hans the Rominator, wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Hey, have a good one, bye-bye.